Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Zach from the Olympic Tavern. How's it going, Zach? Good, how you doing, man? Doing good, doing good, man. So what has the Olympic been up to here lately? It's been a while. It's been a little while. Man. <laughs> I saw you over the summer. Thanks for coming out, hanging out on the patio this summer. That was nice to have you. Yeah. Um, we have been just rolling carry out and delivery out the kitchen door for curb, uh, curbside pickup. Um, doing some well needed, you know, clean up and uh, moving some stuff around in here and taking some time to do some remodeling inside, uh, changing up some of the dining room decor, putting some, yeah. putting some, uh, putting some old retro photos of Rockford, some stuff that's a little bit more locally relevant up on the walls. I mean, we love, it's always going to be Northwoods Lodge feeling in the dining room, but yep. um, kind of taking some of the fish photos down and putting up some cool photos that we found at thrift stores around town. Uh, stuff that we found through some local art collectors, um, just to give some more like Rockford feel to it. So, yeah, yeah, using cool. using our time wisely, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, and like give someone a little something to look forward to here when yeah. things kind of open back up. They could come in and expect a, a little bit of a fresh look here inside the Olympic. Yeah, nothing nothing drastically different, but just put some new stuff on the walls. We had a, a family super nice uh, donated a bison head to us, so that's going to end up on the wall here in the bar room. Um, yeah, just gives gave us an opportunity to kind of step back and look at the whole place and say, okay, we got some time on our hands. Let's uh, let's use it wisely and let's make some nice positive changes to the restaurant. Yeah, absolutely. And so you guys have like your standard uh, carry out or pick up uh, menu, um, but you're also doing some specialty stuff from time to time too. Yeah. So um, obviously wings and pizzas, pizzas are back on the menu. They took a little hiatus for a while um, to kind of keep costs down and to keep. Uh, waste down in the kitchen. I think everybody learned how to run on a shoestring budget this summer with minimal staff and um, all the mitigation stuff that was coming at us. Everyone was obviously uh, learning on the fly, which we still are. Yeah. But um, yeah, so full menu is always available. We're here four to nine every day. Um, cut off for foods usually 830. Um, we are here four to nine doing carry out and curbside uh, right out the side kitchen door. You order online or you call us on the phone roll through the parking lot, come up to our kitchen door. We run it right out for you. If you've prepaid, you don't have to do anything else. We'll throw it in your back seat. Um, yeah, but we are also offering some family meals and uh, some special holiday options that are coming up. This weekend, we ran a lobster or shrimp boil. Um, <laughs> Super fun. Yeah, something fun to do. Uh, something I think we're, we're well known for, especially on this side of town, is like our fresh seafood program. Yeah. Um, in normal times, we're going through 40, 50 pounds of salmon a week, 300, 400 oysters. Um, this year is a little different, obviously. Sure. So uh, we did it all as a pre-order this weekend, and I got 12 or 14 lobsters kicking around in a box that showed up this afternoon, and they'll all be gone tonight. Um, so doing that kind of stuff as like a pre-order, make sure that the quality is as good as we can make it because it's delivered fresh. You know, the lobsters got off the plane at O'Hare yesterday, yep. got into a box last night and they're here today. Yeah. Um, and you know, it keeps waste down. So we're not obviously throwing money away. Um, and it, I think it offers something different, especially with this in our neighborhood. There's not a lot of other options for fresh seafood. Um, so yeah, something different. Got to, got to, got to keep it fresh and have fun with it. And, yeah. you know, the restaurant biz, should still be fun as as much as it's all been limited and very weird this year. We're still, we're still having fun with it. So good, yeah, good. So for people to uh, keep in touch with, you know, like all your different pre order family meals and specialty items and stuff. Like, um, you know, I know you guys are still selling a lot of beer out of your cooler here, and so yeah, uh, we still have a, a to go beer program here. Uh, the to go cooler still works pretty hard. Uh, <laughs> Don't have very much draft beer left. We have kind of killed off draft. Uh, Growlers, not a huge seller here. And honestly, sure. um, the what has been selling in Growlers though is Sangria. Uh, yeah, you mentioned that earlier. Very yeah, interesting just... that we can do that this year. They have lifted some restrictions on what you can and can't sell out the door. And Sangria is always a big seller here. And we are cranking through our traditional red Sangria and we always make a white variant uh, right now, it's the caramel apple Riesling Sangria, so that is also flying. So nice. people have growlers, more than welcome to bring them on down, pull up to the side door, and you're more than welcome to come inside and take a look at the beer cooler if you like to. Um, we just have you pull up to the side door, tell the server that's running carry out, and we bring you in. You can shop as much as you want. You just can't have a beer with us inside right now. Yeah. Um, technically, I think I'm the only one that's allowed to 
drinking here. <laughs> well, for those that want to stay all up to date on uh, the Olympic Tavern, like where do they go? Yeah, um, obviously our Facebook is active. I'm uh, on there every other day posting what our daily special is. Like I said, pizzas are back. So we've been running five dollar pizzas on Monday. As long as you buy something else, buy something else. A five dollar cheese pizza, we'll throw it in. Um, Pipeworks beer has been selling fast. Revolution has been selling fast. I do have some. Uh, reserve beers that I've been stashing away from Revolution that I'm going to put on the to-go list next week. So uh, keen-eyed viewers out there, take a look. I may I may mention that. I may just throw them up so, uh, so your regular <laughs> Joe has a whack at some straight jacket or some uh, Death by Cherries or whatever else we're putting on the shelf this week from Rev. Um, but yeah, just take a look at our Instagram. Take a look at our Facebook. We're on there all the time posting up stuff. If you've got something you're looking for, if you looking for lobster if you're looking for fresh seafood i'm open to ideas i've had a few people write me and want some walleye so that might that might be next week's uh seafood pre-order so yeah um stay in touch and like i said we're here uh the phone number is 815-962-8758 we're here every day uh four o'clock till nine and uh yeah it'd be nice to see you guys again Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Zach, for taking the time to get together and chat. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Uh, big shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. Uh, it's because of their support. I'm able to highlight local businesses like the Olympic Tavern and tell you all the things that are going on inside of them. So big thank you to all you people. And I will see you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.